Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick. Hey guys, welcome back to our Lego Ideas Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone, set number 21331. This will be part one of Act Two. Let's get it over. So thanks for joining me again on this awesome build. Last time we put together this palm tree, a little crab meat robot, and uh, our Sonic the Hedgehog minifigure with this little base. So let's put this aside for now, and we're going to open up Act 2 and get that sorted out. Looks like we're going to have a whole bunch of new parts and a lot of little cool, tiny pieces. So be very careful when we don't lose anything. Everybody. So, this is how I ended up sorting out my tree. That is a really uh, small pieces. Uh, we have two different colors of greens, two different colors of browns, this dark tan, and, uh, light blue pieces. And this time we have this uh, magenta chaos emerald. Um, so let's turn to page 31 and we'll get going on step 27. Alright, to start out, we need one of these um, two by six plates that has a one by plate um, fused to it and these little side facing studs. And we also want a um, medium brick one by one block that's going to go off to the right hand side of these, uh, of that one by four. And then in 28, uh, we're going to go put a couple more of these little stacks. If you guys remember from that one with the small tree. Um, on the sides here, we can stack up a lot of these one by one plates. So, we're going to do um, two of the light and four of the dark. Or, you know, medium and dark brown. Whatever you want to call these. This, this is the thicker of the two brown colors. I'm just go with that. And remember, guys, last time I showed you how you can take your foot separate and flip it on here and use it to rotate down to a line there. Okay, so those are going to go across the top here of this um, one by four. We are alternating patterns to make sure four patterns of um, our alternating color side. So we'll go with the um, darker of the brown colors, then the lighter brown, and the darker brown again. And those might have to be rotated a little bit so that they uh, uh, line up correctly. And then in step 29, uh, we have the red one by two block with the axle pole inside, and also have a black block for the same. And the black block is going to go in here and it's hanging off halfway, and the red block is going to just inside that. Then in step 30, we want another one of the same black 2x6 uh, buckets with the embedded 1x4 and side facing studs. Uh, that's going to put on here like that. And then we also want a light brown one by one block to go on the end, just like on the other side. And that's step. Um, those two pieces are step 30. Then in 31, uh, we're going to make uh, more of these little checkerboard guys. So we want um, two of the light brown and four of the dark brown again. This is going to be the same thing on each side. And then first one the dark one, and the light one. Okay, and then we can move on to step 32. 32 uh, dark brown one by one blocks. And we need another um, one by two blocks with that axle hole in both red and black. Then we are going to stack on top of their counterparts. So red goes on top of red, black goes on top of black. And then frame those two with uh, these dark brown one by ones. Now in step 37, um, we need to make some more pixels. So 
Grab two blue and dark brown, and then two light brown. And then, yeah, this is happy to know, but... Oh, you know, these need to be a little bit sick again. I'm going to alternate these. So, if you get these stuck together and you don't want them to be together, rotate them 45 degrees and then you can grab onto the corners and pop them apart. Um, so, you're going to put the light brown on top of the dark brown. And then, um, let's see, did I skip something? I'm sure I skipped something. I did, I skipped the whole page. So, we're just going to hang on to this for later. Let me go back to 33. Yeah, so 33. Uh, we have this blue 1x2 double by block. That's going to go behind red. Right there. And then in step 34, we need 8 1 by 1 plates in dark brown and 10 in light. But we are going to make these little pixel blocks till the caps come on. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna make double of the we're gonna make two of the of the ones where it's um two of the dark brown and then on top of that is one light. We're gonna make double of those. And then that's gonna go right here. Let's see. Those are gonna go lined up in a row with the blue block, okay? And then we're gonna make four these stacks of uh, two light with dark on top. Like Um, we have a dark brown 2 by 4 plate and a light brown 4 by 4 plate. Um, the dark brown 2 by 4 is going to go on top of the black and red blocks, and this one's going to go on top of the blue. And then in step 36, we need another dark brown 2 by 4. It's going to go on top of the half on top of the other 2 by 4 and on top of the 4 by 4. And then in this front row, we're going to put some green pieces. We need a light green. One by two plates, and then two of these one by one plates with these side hanging tabs, and then they're gonna go facing them outwards. This blue side. Okay, now we're caught back up with where I was working before on step 37. I have these two stacks of uh, alternating colors in the same stack, and so we get the light on top of the brown, and then we have to these right here on these two back stacks. Ouch. Be careful. Putting um, sideways pressure on these, and I'll push it into this other block. If you push it in or out, this is just going to pop right off. Some of these pieces, um, they, they're not staggered to support each other, so they, they come apart really easy. And if you don't get them lined up, they're going to look real sloppy on the side. So take your time and do those right. But step 38, we need two light brown one by two plates. And we also need a dark green one by two plate with two of these one by one plates with the side green one by one. Now we're building the tier to this. So these two guys, the brown one by twos, are going to come on. Hold the that last column onto there, and then we're going to put this green right in the middle, green one by two, and then the green tabs on the sides. Okay? Now in 39, we need a yellow one by two plate. Then we also need one of these by one by two blocks and one brown. That is going to slot down into that gap. And this will fit nicely into that gap. Did it right there. And then step 40. We're going to build another row of light green grass. So a one by two plate and two of these hanging tab pieces, both edges, and a couple of the yellow. And then 
one step from bar, we're going to put in a little water. So there's this dark blue charcoal plate. That's going to line up in the back right there. And we have this teal, teal fork plate that's going to go right into this little channel there. It overlaps two rows of studs before we get this dark blue plate. And there should be two more rows of studs on the end. So that's what we want. And then point two. Um, we need these two black plates. These are those couple of plates that we dealt with before. The black two by sixes with one by fours and side facing studs. They're going to go back to back against the band. And their side facing studs facing out like that. Hands to end. And then in 43, we need two of these teal one by six plates. They're going to go right in here in between this gap. Your side. And then in 44, we're going to put in the water. And so what's going to happen is we need four of these transparent blue one by four tiles. One, two, three, four. And we need four transparent one by two plates. And then also four transparent blue one by two tiles. So we're going to start with one by four. Across here, two ends on our black studs, center is two. And then we're going to go this top side is going to get plate and the bottom side is going to get the tile like that and then we're going to go with another one by four <clears throat> then we're going to go the same orientation where we have studs on the top tile on the bottom then we go with another so then we're going to alternate where you tile on the top studs on the bottom and then one by four and then studs on the bottom tile on the top Is a good place to stop as any. Um, next up, we'll be with, let's see, part two of bag two. And thanks for joining us, guys. Please give us a like and subscribe so you can follow the series if you don't miss out on any of the, the steps. And uh, if you would like to contribute to our uh, Patreon, we would greatly appreciate that. And until next time, we'll put something awesome. We'll see you later.